the Lord gave me permission and told me to do this video because there are certain things that the Lord needs to uh, address concerning Gino Jennings. All right. Now, I used to call him Pastor Gino Jennings. And she said the Lord told her to direct this prophecy at Gino Jennings some months ago. And she said, the Lord told me to call him Pastor Gino Jennings. That's what the Lord told me to call Yikes. him. And she said, because I don't call Jake's and the others pastor, but I respectfully call uh, Pastor Gino Jennings. Hi, guys. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Jesus Christ. Before going further, some of you can skip this screen. Or what I'm going to say, work wicked, dirty, demonic scammers. In the comment section, pretending to be me, is my name, my profile picture. Begging for money, giving fake prophecy, it is not me. Whenever I make a comment, this is a key that you know it is me. My name is in solid gray border. This is one thing the dirty scammers cannot have because it's not their channel. They're just too wicked. So if it's not solid gray border, and you see Sister Carrie Ann, report and rebuke. All right, brothers and sisters. All right. So, okay. I want to do this video, brothers and sisters, because the Lord gave me permission and told me to do this video because there are certain things that the Lord needs to uh, address concerning Gino Jennings. All right. Now, I used to call him Pastor Gino Jennings. But, brothers and sisters, for those of you, who have seen the video that I did concerning Gina Jennings and just asking him politely, beautifully, very respect. I was so respectful to the man. If you have not seen that video, I will leave it pinned in the comment section. All right. I'll leave it pinned in the comment section so you can watch it. But in that video, it was, a, a, you know, a very respectful respectful address to Gino and all I was asking him is there are some people or some brothers and sisters underneath your ministry who are Hebrew Israelites and they just need to be told that is it no big deal that is it so I did that video and I knew that he would have you know he would have gotten it but I thought that he would have watched the video for himself. Instead, his foot soldiers, because that's what they are, his foot soldiers emailed him saying that, you know, this fake prophetess is on YouTube saying all stuff. All right. So, Gino, Gino, because that's what he's called now, all right? I ain't addressing him as pastor because he's wicked. So there's no pastor's going to come out of my mouth. I'm going to call him Gino Gino, all right? So Gino Gino, right, did a first video. Brothers and sisters <laughs> sent it to me. So oh, Sister Karen, you know, Gino has responded to your video. Here's the link. So I watched the video, the first response that he did. All right. He kind of, at the time, you know, he lied on me, all right? But I let it slide because it wasn't disrespectful, so to speak. So that first video, I let it slide. He said there's a woman over, there's, a, there's a, some prophetess woman over the internet saying whatever. I let that slide, didn't say anything, fine, okay? But that wasn't good enough for Gino Gino. He had to go back. <laughs> all right. This man, all right, had to go back and do a second video for the same respectful video that I did. But this time he went way out of line. Like the man was on the attack, brothers and sisters. For those of you or seen Gino, Gino second video about me. So he went on to say, you know, fake prophetess over the internet who um who is saying that 
he should tell all black people that they're Hebrew Israelites. Now, if you'd watch the video, I've never said that. So off, off the back, he's lying. Because I've never ever addressed or in that video say that Gino, Gino should tell all black people in the world that the Hebrew Israelite. No, because we know that is not true. I said there are some. And those of you watch the video first before you go on the attack defending Gino Gino. All right. And I said in the video I said there are some, some Hebrew Israelites in your churches all across the world, Jamaica, America, Africa, Australia, wherever you have this church, that are Hebrew Israelites. And you just need to tell them, but oh no, Gino Gino's, oof. He was in a battle, brothers and sisters. The man went on the attack. So, all right, okay. He went on the attack and, you know, call me fake prophetess. I'm not phased by that because there's loads of video out there calling me fake. So that don't phase me or anything like that. But it's when you begin to lie and you begin to say that I said the blackness of people's skin is going to get them into heaven. I never said that. That never came out my mouth. And that showed me that he has not watched the video. It's what his foot soldiers have emailed him. And he went off the foot soldiers, his foot soldiers email. Because if he had to watch the video in its entirety, he would see the respect that I gave. And in the video, I even said, you know, all these wicked pastors like T.D. Jakes, Crawford Dollar, Ben Hinn. Oh, I don't really call them pastors or whatever. But, you know, with Gino, the Lord said to address him as pastor. And so I obeyed. And that's what I did. But the man, Gino, Gino's, yeah, went on big one rampage. All right. So these are the lies that he said that I said, all oh, black people, I should either he, Gino, Gino's, should tell all black people that Gino, Gino's, I love it, that, that you should. Sorry. <laughs> oh gosh. I have to come up with all these names. Look at these people are so wicked. Um that <laughs> that I said he Gino Ginos Gino rather should tell all black people in the world that they're Hebrew Israelite. I never said that. And that I said the blackness of people's skin is gonna get them into heaven. What? I never said that. That never, ever, ever, ever came out my mouth. Even I've been on YouTube since 2015. I've never uttered that rubbish out my mouth. So those are the two, those are two lies so far. And then, um, he's saying that, you know, obviously when he, he didn't address the question. All right. He did not address the question or anything. And he went on to call me a devil and a fool. All right. So the man is in the pulpit spewing out his rubbish. All right. And attacking. But this is what the, the Bible says, because I've got a few things to address. I've got time. So you've got to stay tuned because there's a few issues that the Lord have with Gino Ginals. And at the end, you're going to know the reason why is now Gino Ginals. All right. No more pastor. Gino, he's a Gino, literal Gino in the pulpit. All right, watch this, brothers and sisters. So he went on the rampage, fake prophetess, devil, fool. You know, I'm surprised he don't call me Jezebel. He might call me Jezebel in his next attack if he should attack me when I, when he sees this one. But it doesn't matter. So hear what the Bible says concerning uh, anyone who is angry. Hmm. Who is angry with their brothers or sister without a cause? This is the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth that is speaking. This is said Matthew 5. The Lord gave me the scripture and said, read it to the people. Because the Holy Spirit was so grieved concerning how Gino Gino handled and lied. It didn't even lie on me, to be honest with you, because he didn't address the question to say, just tell your people that they're Hebrew Israelites, some of them. 
it wasn't an issue it wasn't a a, a, a situation of you know of of a sal of salvation but the man Gino Ginos Gino rather turned it into a big massacre a big challenge oh, Hebrew Israelites you know you all need Jesus Christ of Nazareth and, and without him you're not gonna go to heaven which we know that wasn't my that 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 that's not even a question because we all know that we need the biblical Christ to get into the glory without him he ain't going nowhere all right but he, he dilly dolly the question went around beat around the bush started to talk about salvation who is going to get into heaven from who is not going to get into heaven and all sort of foolishness he's up in the pulpit spitting out to his to his followers and he, all he needed to do was simple you either tell the people who they are that is it it wasn't an issue of salvation but he's a warmonger is Gina Ginals. He's a warmonger in the pulpit. He picks on everybody and fight. Everything is a battle. Everything is a battle to that man. But anyways, so this is what the Lord says to read because the Holy Spirit was so grieved at his behavior. St. Matthew chapter 5. St. Matthew 5 verses 22. This is what the biblical Jesus Christ, <clears throat> sorry, of Nazareth has to say about Gino and the situation. Watch this. But I say unto you, you Gino, all right, I'm putting your name here. I say unto you, this is Christ, the biblical Christ speaking. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment that man was in the pulpit angry with me with all the cause i didn't do him nothing <laughs> i did gina Ginals nothing the only thing i asked was one question that's all it was just tell your people i said there are some some people under your ministry that are hebrew israelites that is it that's all i said the man turned the thing in a one big fight in the pulpit you know i'm speaking jamaican now in my dialect you know he turned it into a he was it was at war <laughs> do you know gino was at war you know so the lord is saying to you gino can you you are bang out of order mate you're bang out of order, all right? And the Lord is saying that you were angry in that pulpit with me, his daughter, all right, without a cause. I could understand if I did you something. I could understand if I make a video just slandering off. But no, uh, that video, I'm going to leave it pinned. Watch it for yourself if you haven't seen it. I was so respectful. I was even saying in the video, look, you know, when you do tell your people that some of them are Hebrew Israelite, the government will come after you because that's all they are, because it's a hidden secret. And that's why these pastors don't talk about it. They don't touch it. All right. Because they've got a fake state set up from 1948. And that is what they want the world to see. But the Lord is saying, no, his people. All right. Some of us are people of, well, we are people of color, the Hebrew Israelites. And I was saying to the man, just tell, that's all. But anyway, one big argument and everything in the pulpit, cursing and carrying on. But the Lord says that whosoever is angry, that's you, Gino, you know, with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. So you need to repent. You're telling people to repent every day. You need to repent. Let's carry on. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But here where Gino even took it to a different level. It is up in the pulpit, carrying on about this Hebrew is a lie thing. Then he calls me a fool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
you fool that's what he said cause <laughs> Lord, Father God of creation, the big old gray back, big toed man in the pulpit carrying on like a child, cannot control his emotions because the truth gets underneath his skin because he's a general. He knows that there are Hebrew Israelites in his congregation. He knows. He knows the truth. But I'll get to the reason why he's not talking the truth. So he's up there carrying on. Acting like a, like a kid, right? Throwing his sweet out the pram, so to speak. And he, he calls me a fool. He calls me a fool because I said, you know, tell the people who they are. That's it. So he's upset <laughs> because, furthermore, I'm a woman. And you know what he's like with women. Even though, you know, he talks about the women preachers and pastors and women bishop. But he's got an issue. To be honest with you, it really has with women. <laughs> but that's one another video. Man is crazy. But <laughs> so he's up there. It calls me a fool. But here is what Jesus says. This is what the Lord says concerning Gina Janelle's. We're on the same scripture. Watch this. But whosoever shall say thou fool you call anybody a fool shall be in danger of hell fire so we know if you don't repent Gina Gino you are going to hell for calling me a fool foolish that's different because the bible gives room for foolish you can call people foolish but calling them a fool the Lord don't take that and you should know that but because you are arrogant let me call you as you are all right you are an arrogant man you are prideful you are full of yourself and for the fact that you said up there when you were ranting and carrying on attacking me and for the fact that you said oh God never sent you that's what you said in the pulpit. You said that God never sent me. Really? How do you know that? Were you there when the Lord was speaking to me? No, you wasn't. No, you was not. And for the fact that you got so angry and so bitter to talk about the true people of Yah. Hebrew Israelite, if you saw that on YouTube, who called herself prophesying, and she said the Lord told her, to direct this prophecy at Geno Jenner some months ago. And she said, the Lord told me to call him Pastor Geno Jenner. That's what the Lord told me to call yeah. him. And she said, because I don't call Jake's and the others pastor, but I respectfully call uh, Pastor Geno Jenner's pastor because the Lord told me. Nice. And the Lord told me to tell him that he should tell some of his followers that believe they're Gentiles, that they're not, but they're really uh, uh, are the original tribes of Israel. And because he has such a large platform, he will have a great influence. Mm -hmm. So when the word got to me and I saw the video, my response was plainly. See, a lot of folk thought my response, I took a shot, was because she was a woman. No, we believe in women prophetess. Sister, Kairian said it herself. I have to tell you the truth about Apostle Gino Jennings. Ladies and gentlemen, now many of you may know Pastor Gino Jennings as a controversial figure in the world of religious preaching but what sister Kyrie on reveals goes beyond the surface she claims she claims there are secrets within 
is teaching that many followers might not be aware of sister carry on believes that Gino's interpretation of scripture can lead to misunderstandings about key biblical principles. She emphasizes the importance the importance of examining the context of his messages urging followers to dig deeper and not just take everything at face value in her passionate plea she warns about the dangers of blind faith it's crucial to seek the truth of yourself she insists sister carry on in colleges everyone to question and engage with the teachings they receive educating for a more informed and personal connection to faith ladies and gentlemen in this thought provoking video we dive we dive deep into the contrasting beliefs of pastor Gino Jennings and sister Kyrian is an epic showdown of faith and doctrine explore the fundamental fundamental differences in their interpretations of scripture teachings on salvation and views on church practices we analyze we analyze their arguments examine key biblical passages and offer insights into and how their beliefs how their beliefs shape their ministries and followers my respected friend join us for this enlightening discussion that promises to challenge your understanding and provoke thoughtful dialogue around faith and theology whether you're a long time follower or new to their teachings this video will provide you with a clear perspective on these influential figures in modern Christianity. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Gino Jennings and Sister Kyria are two 
prominent figures in Christian community, each with their unique beliefs and teachings. Today, we explore their contrasting views in this belief showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, Apostle Dino Jennings is known is known for his strong stance against traditional Christian doctrines that he believes stray from biblical teachings. He emphasizes the need for strict adherence to scripture, promoting a holiness lifestyle and a clear rejection of modern interpretations that dilute the message of gospel. His teachings often challenge mainstream Christianity, focusing on the necessity of baptism in Jesus' name and living a life free from sin. Ladies and gentlemen, on the other hand, Sister Kyrian advocates for a more inclusive approach to faith. She emphasizes personal relationship with God and the importance of love and acceptance over strict dogma. Her teachings focus on community, compassion, and the belief that salvation is accessible to all, regardless of their past. She encourages believers to interrupt the Bible through the lens of love and understanding. Why? Apostle Gino Jennings called for a return to foundational biblical principles. Sister Kyrie Ann champions the idea of evolving faith that embraces diversity and modern challenges. These differences highlight a broader conversation within Christianity about tradition, tradition versus progress. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on their beliefs? Let us know in the comments. In this heated video, Pastor Gino Jennings delivers a 
powerful and shocking response to Sister Kyrie Young that you won't want to miss tensions rise as Pastor Jennings addresses the ongoing discussions and controversies surrounding their differing views. Watch as he passionately defends his satans providing clarity and insight into the issues at hand. This exchange is filled is filled with significant movements and thought-provoking arguments that challenge conventional perspectives. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as we dive deep into this confrontation and explore the implications it has for community. Pastor Gino Jennings has never been one to stay away from a challenge and his recent response to Sister Kyrian is no acceptation. In a bold move, he addressed her controversial remarks head on emphasizing the importance of truth in his ministry. I am not here to please anyone but God. He declared his word resonated with many, sparking a wave of reactions from both supporters and critics alike. Apostle Gino Jennings urged believers to stay grounded in scripture, reminding everyone that the message of faith should always come first. If you're not preaching the gospel, what are you even doing? He asserted. leaving no room for doubt about his commitment to teachings and he upholds. His passionate rebuttal not only defended defended his stance, but also encouraged others to stand firm in their beliefs. 
we must strive for righteousness and hold each other accountable he proclaimed showcasing his dedication to fostering a strong united community in a world in a world filled with distractions apostle gino jennings powerful response serve as reminder of the importance of string true to one's connections in this exciting video Korean spells the T on Pastor Gino Janex diving deep into his teachings controversies and impact on the church community as he sorry as a well respected figure in the religious sphere Pastor Janex has cornered both followers and critics Joanne Carrion as she shares her insights personal experiences and thoughts on his ministry in 2024 ladies and gentlemen a widow you are a long time follower of pastor Gino Jennings or just curious about his influence this video is packed with valuable information and engaging discussion carry on set today we are diving into the world of Pastor Gino Janex. No, if you don't know how he is, let me fill you in. Pastor Gino Janex is the founder of First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ in Philadelphia and he is known for his fiery sermons and unique take on biblical teachings ladies and gentlemen what really sets him apart in his nonsense approach he is not afraid to tackle controversial topics and trust me he has some strong opinions on issues many shy away from whether it's about religion modern society or even politic, uh, politics he speaks his mind but here's a tea while many admired boldness others have raised eyebrows about his methods and message some see him as a beacon of truth while others think he can be a bit too extreme ladies and gentlemen so what do you think is pastor gino jennings a modern day pastor or just a polarizing figure it love to hear you your thoughts in the comment below Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more juicy insights. Until next time, stay blessed.